What's your name? Raymond. Raymond. Okay. Yeah. Which channel are you from? Blue Collar Corner. Okay. We good? Andy from Blue Collar Corner. I'm here with Raman, who worships right over here at 45 Park Place, where they're proposing for the Ground Zero Mosque. Ramon, how do you feel about the protest that's going on out here in front of your uh, place of worship? Well, um, I understand that people have genuine concerns, so it's the responsibility of the Muslim community over here to reach out to these people and explain that Islam is a religion of peace. Uh, there have been some incidents in the past carried out in the name of Islam uh, which, prom which promoted terrorism and extremism, but um, it's the fault of those who have misunderstood the religion and carried out the name, um, carried out extremism in the name of Islam. But the religion itself and the majority of the Muslims are peaceful people. There are, there are more than 1.2 billion people in the world, Muslims in the world. So obviously all of them are not extremists or terrorism. So there is a lot of misunderstanding, but if there is more dialogue and uh, there is more uh, understanding of each other, I guess it could be resolved. Okay, now let me ask you, I know the Iman was uh, on the radio not too long ago, and uh, they questioned him on two things. First of all, one was about the funding, and uh, he didn't give any kind of answer. What he said was it all came from the worshippers from, uh, from, from your uh, mosque. Okay. And that $5 million, that's quite a, quite a bit of financing. And to do the whole entire building would be considerably more, somewhere in the range of $100, $150 million. Now, when they wanted him to get specific, he didn't. So right there at that point, it kind of gets people uh, thinking, you know, in a, in a very uh, subversive sort of way, you know, because he's not being forthcoming with exactly what the funding is. Can you understand that? Um, well, I, to, to be honest, I did not hear the interview. So I, um, I don't know uh, if, the, if the funding is all from, um, you know, from, from the worshippers. And there are a lot of Muslims in the United States. Uh, who I'm sure will be willing to fund this. There are a lot of mosques in this country, and all of those mosques are being run um, and built by all the Muslims who live in the United States. So I from donations? From donations, yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if the $5 million was raised by Muslims um, worshipping either in this mosque or around this area, because it's a, it's a big project. It's a big mosque, which is right next to World Trade Center. So I wouldn't be surprised if there were a lot of, you know, individuals who were willing to put money into it. Okay, Ramon, I appreciate your candor. I really do. Uh, I, I, I happen to be there during the attack, so this is a very sensitive subject to me. Um, you, personally, yourself, groups like Hezbollah and Hamas, uh, or the Muslim Brotherhood, do you label them as terrorist groups? They, they do... Uh, they do have carried out acts which are terrorism. Islam does not support killing of innocent uh, women and children, and obviously they have attacked uh, places in Israel. If they kill Israeli children and women who are non-combatants, obviously they are carrying out attacks of terrorism. But we also have to understand there is a lot of uh, state terrorism in the world as well. So whether it's an Israeli child who gets killed or a Palestinian child who gets killed, it's terrorism on both sides, and we condemn each of them. Okay, now you see that answer you gave me was, you know, a very forthcoming, legitimate answer. When the Iman was asked about that, he, he didn't uh, answer it as, as forthcoming as you just did. He, he kind of ran around it and would not answer the question. And that, again, coupled with the lack of information on the funding, do you understand how that would give people pause and make them question about the motives of doing something like this. Right, I do understand that, but you, uh, I think the Muslims, and especially the Muslim leaders, are somewhat afraid of what has happened and what's going on. They have to sort of justify their position. Um, I, as I said, I did not hear Imam uh, what he was uh, on this particular topic, so I don't know in what context he was talking and what the particular question or how, or how the question was framed. Um, but as I said, uh, you know, we condemn terrorist activity uh, wherever it goes on. War is never the solution to anything. It's only dialogue. And the better, the sooner we understand it, the better it will be for everybody. Ramon, thank you so much for your time, sir. Have a good weekend. You too.
Okay.